what is up everybody we are back it is saturday morning and i was thinking to myself i have not done a video this week i need to be more consistent if i want my channel to grow then i was thinking what kind of videos do people really like on my channel they they like the ocd ones that are specific to ocd and anxiety and they like the handyman ones but not a lot to talk about in the handyman stuff right now but i was scrolling through facebook and i'm I'm part of an OCD support group on Facebook and I like to just read what's going on with people and give a little advice when I can and somebody brought up um, a really interesting topic and it's one that took me a long time to learn how to deal with. They were explaining how you know when everything is is calm at work and, and calm in their life that their OCD and their anxiety is good but when they get really busy and overwhelmed at work uh, those intrusive thoughts come back and that worry comes back. So I was just kind of explaining to them how how I've been dealing with that. And for the longest time, I was like a constant worrier. And I probably still am. I just deal with it better. And as you, I worked through the specific subsets of OCD, those different um, compulsions, and I started to cut those out, my OCD would worry about things that um, are in my day to day life like work deadlines um, are these jobs going to get done in the correct manner um, are these people portraying my business right is my health okay that kind of stuff so I was explaining to them kind of what I do and it's a practice of just kind of acceptance you know when when something sh sh triggers my anxiety like that the first thing I do is I remind myself that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me once I get that thought wrapping around my head, then I kind of speak to the anxiety and I say, okay, you know, come along with me. You know, I'm, I'm allowing you to have this part of my life, this part of my day. No problem with me because it, you don't bother me. And let's go along and do these things and deal with these issues as they come up so that I'll show you that I can handle this stuff and there's no reason to worry about it. And that doesn't mean that the spikes don't come. But as those spikes happen and I practice this method of just acceptance and allowance of anxiety to have a part in my life, the anxiety just starts to go down faster and faster. And each spike is a little bit different. You know, some might worry you more than others, but it's the ability to recognize in that moment, okay, let me shift over from anxiety and worry and shift into faith. And, um, you know, my relationship becoming stronger and stronger with the Lord really has helped me with that. So, you know, I definitely challenge everybody to look into their faith, but because it's just an extra tool that can give you that armor as you move forward. And, um, you know, it's just one of those things that you have to practice. It's like a muscle, you know, if you're for me, I'm, I'm 31 years old for, so for, you know, 28 years of my life, I was just a constant worrier. I would ruminate about everything. I would take a situation that bothers me and I'd be off distance because in my mind, I'm working through each scenario so that no matter what scenario happens, I have um, a a an action to take. And that's good to some point, but not if you're constantly obsessing over every situation because it's that control having to work through that in my mind so that I have control when and if this situation arises that's what keeps us in that OCD loop it's that control that we have to let go of and my faith in the Lord has really really helped me to just release that um, when it happens and then walk with that acceptance and it sounds very simple, but it's a really difficult thing to do, especially for people with OCD and anxiety. And, um, you know, this can work for, for all people. You know, you don't just have to have OCD and anxiety to practice a lot of this stuff. But I speak it from my own experience, and that's kind of, you know, how I've dealt with this moving forward. And since I've got into ERP therapy, since I've started practicing accept acceptance, and since I have gotten closer to the Lord, these things have become easier. And I believe that, you know, it's my mission to tell you guys what I've learned because I've gone through it for 31 years and I'm not perfect. I'm not the staple of recovery, but um, I am definitely going down a path that's um, leading to a lot more peace in my life. So 
I hope this helps somebody. Like always, like this video so other people can find it. I was very busy last week out in the field with work, but this week we've got a lot of meetings, a lot of different places to go around town. So that $100 will get donated this week. And the next video, I'll let you know who, who I donated it to. If you want to jump on here, leave me a comment before I get out there last next week. Leave me a comment of where you think that $100 donation should go. And we're already moving up in the 400s. When we get to 500, I will donate another $100. That's $100 for every 100 subscribers that I've gotten. So like this video, share this video. I hope you guys have a great day.